In the realm of engineering, where the grandeur of architectural marvels meets the practicality of structural integrity, there lies a fine line between success and disaster. Tragically, history has witnessed several devastating consequences resulting from neglect, human error, and engineering miscalculations. These heart-wrenching events have left indelible marks on the collective consciousness of societies worldwide, driving the need for continuous improvement in engineering practices and safety measures. In this video, we delve into five shocking building collapses that shook the world, unravelling the complexities behind their failures and the lessons they impart. Elliot Lake Mall Collapse A Forgotten Tragedy the year was 2012, and the serene town of Elliot Lake in Ontario, Canada, bore witness to a horrifying disaster that claimed the lives of two individuals. This forgotten tragedy unfolded within the walls of the Elliot Lake Mall, an erstwhile thriving shopping centre. Neglect and inadequate maintenance proved to be the culprits behind the calamitous event. Over time, water leakage had slowly eroded the structural integrity of the mall's roof. Additionally, critical structural elements suffered from corrosion, further weakening the foundation. The accumulation of these insidious issues finally gave way, leading to the catastrophic roof collapse that shook the town to its core. The incident shed light on the consequences of neglecting essential maintenance protocols. Moreover, it underscored the urgent need for stricter building, safety regulations, and regular inspections to safeguard the lives of occupants and prevent such tragedies from reoccurring. The Hyatt Regency Walkway Collapse, also known as the Kansas City Hyatt Regency Disaster, was a tragic incident that occurred on July 17, 1981 at the Hyatt Regency Hotel in Kansas City, Missouri, USA. During a crowded tea dance event, two suspended walkways located in the hotel's atrium collapsed resulting in one of the deadliest non-natural disasters in U.S. history. Here are the key details and factors that led to the collapse. Design flaw. The original design of the walkways included a fourth-floor walkway directly above a second-floor walkway, with the second-floor walkway supported by vertical rods that were attached to the ceiling of the fourth-floor walkway. This design meant that the second-floor walkway was supported by only a single set of rods, creating a critical flaw in the load-bearing structure. Change in design During construction, a last-minute design change was made, which replaced the single set of rods supporting the second-floor walkway with two sets of rods. Unfortunately, the change was not properly reviewed or analysed to ensure structural integrity. Weak connection The connection between the walkways and the supporting rods was not strong enough to withstand the weight and stress imposed during the event. As the walkways filled with people, the combined weight exceeded the capacity of the connections. Collapse As a result of this design flaw and weak connection, both walkways collapsed onto the crowded atrium floor below, causing chaos and destruction. The disaster claimed the lives of 114 people and injured more than 200 others. After the collapse, investigations revealed the engineering failures and design flaws that led to the tragedy. The disaster led to significant changes in engineering practices and building codes, emphasising the importance of thorough inspections, proper load calculations, and the need for peer reviews to ensure safety in complex engineering projects. The Hyatt Regency walkway collapse remains a poignant reminder of the critical importance of adhering to rigorous engineering principles and safety standards in construction projects to prevent such catastrophic events. I-35W Mississippi River Bridge Collapse Structural Overload Exposed In 2007, a grim tragedy unfolded in Minneapolis, USA, when the I-35W bridge collapsed into the Mississippi River. The disaster was a result of engineering flaws that centred around undersized gusset plates, which are critical components connecting the bridge's steel beams. The failure of these plates to handle the structural load imposed upon them 
led to the devastating collapse. The incident brought to light the paramount importance of accurate load calculations, regular inspections, and the rigorous application of safety standards in bridge construction. In the wake of this calamity, the engineering community rallied together to reevaluate existing bridge structures, leading to the implementation of stricter regulations aimed at ensuring the safety and integrity of bridges worldwide. Savar Building Collapse the dark side of substandard construction. The year 2013 bore witness to a tragedy in Dhaka, Bangladesh, when the Savar building collapsed, claiming the lives of more than 1,100 people and injuring thousands. Overshadowed by the Rana Plaza disaster, this horrifying event exposed the dire consequences of substandard construction and poor fire safety measures. The building, known as Rana Plaza's sister structure, housed garment factories, shops, and offices. Investigations revealed that the collapse resulted from a combination of illegal construction practices, the addition of extra floors without proper approvals, and the overloading of the building with heavy machinery. The Savar building collapse sparked outrage and prompted significant changes in building regulations. The catastrophe served as a poignant reminder of the critical need for responsible construction practices, regular inspections, and robust safety protocols to protect the lives of workers and occupants. Ronan Point Tower Block Collapse Shaping Building Regulations The year was 1968, when Newham, London, experienced a gas explosion-induced collapse that would change the course of building regulations forever. The Ronan Point Tower Block, a 22-storey residential tower, suffered the partial collapse of one corner due to structural weaknesses in its prefabricated design. The connections between the precast concrete panels proved inadequate to withstand the force of the explosion, resulting in the tragic incident. This event prompted a re-evaluation of building codes and standards, with a particular focus on strengthening structural connections and ensuring the overall stability and safety of high-rise buildings. The Ronan Point Tower block collapse marked a pivotal moment in the history of engineering, emphasising the necessity for continuous improvement in practices to prevent future catastrophes. In conclusion, the five shocking building collapses presented stand as powerful reminders of the critical importance of engineering excellence, safety protocols and maintenance practices in the construction industry. These harrowing events call for a collective commitment to upholding the fundamental principles of engineering and protecting human life in the pursuit of architectural marvels. May these tragedies serve as constant reminders that our unwavering dedication to safety and innovation must remain at the forefront of every engineering endeavour.